three. Attempt number two. We got Rue, Neardwell, Natalie. Uh, we're trying to get some food. Oh, no, we have some food now. We got full batteries. Um, yes, yesterday's VOD was posted this morning. However, uh, YouTube was having trouble. Um, YouTube was having some trouble, like, processing the, the high-definition versions. So I don't know if that got fixed or if it's still only available in standard death, but it's, it is released. Hi, smoking. Good to see you, buddy. How are you? Mm. Uh, Natalie seems to be pretty happy. I think Natalie's fairly happy. Rue is with her. Okay. And then we have near dwell. Natalie's doing some research, which is good. So, um, what do we need to do today? We probably should start building the kill box. Um, today, perhaps he's, yeah. Social and banishing him. Are we? No, that pawn died. Darl, that pawn died. That pawn is dead. I, I think that was, um, yeah, yeah. No, that pawn died. There's a lot of, a lot of death. Hmm. The kill box is pretty big for a 30 by 30 challenge, just saying. It is, but I think uh I think it'll be good. I think it'll work. I think we'll be able to make it work. Mm. I need another uh I need more power. The rooms are also probably too big. But I think we'll I think we'll manage. The wee notch in the bottom wall has been sticking out a bit, sticking out of me since he drew the plans. The notch. What notch? Darl. Thrumbies. Mmm, thrumbos. Oh, we're not really in a position to, to kill thrumbos right now. Where the door is? Oh, no, no, no. Nope, this is just, uh, this is just how this is built. This is where we're going to EMP from. We're just doing it up top instead of down at the bottom. Jim will build outside that space. Imagine. Imagine though. Let's just go for it. Let's just, let's just start doing it. Uh, I think we're going to need some more blocks though. Oh, we'll have someone do it. We have people who are like, Enough traps will kill a thrumbo? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice, but I don't want to aggro both of them. Uh, you know, I guess we could, we could make a couple, we can make a few steel traps, lure them into our base. It's just if we lure them into ba the base, we got to have an exit plan. I don't know. Um... It's a little concerning. I I, don't, I just don't know if it's worth yet. We they're they also none of them are good fighters. Like we're we're pretty trash at fighting. Like that that's got to be one of our next things is getting a good fighter. Uh, wild boar. I'm gonna set everyone to safe for now. We'll let that boar just kind of come in here and die. Or not. Okay. Not bad, Rue. You took a you took a you took bruises, but you're not bleeding, so that's okay. Die of boredom? <laughs> oh we former. Oh you. Oh you.
Why would you not tend to Rue? That was like, it's your first thing you should do. Hmm. Okay. Natalie, don't you construct? Oh, those are done. JK. So, what do, what do we put back here? Could put another battery. We could move this battery over there. I, you know, actually, I wonder. Could we put a door here instead? Could we manipulate the the kill box a little bit? Maybe. I guess. I guess. Why not? I guess they might... No, because all this will be open, so they would just leave. Yeah, why not? Why don't we put a door there? Wall. And then we can access this space if we need to. As little, like, long-term storage. Long-term storage solutions. Bamboo tuna. Bamboo tuna! Ow! We'll find out if it breaks it completely. Yeah, exactly. Bamboo tuna. Bamboo tuna. Man hunting pack of guinea pigs, which is just two of them. Okay. Well, <laughs> Natalie, do you lift? Captain K, it's good to see you, by the way. I don't know if I said hi to you. <laughs> um, you guys, get up. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah, Natalie, just hit to yourself. Uh, you know, we're we're finding out. It's it's we're this is all very. I mean, I just I don't recall a whole lot of the stuff that we've done with this. So it's a it's a bit trial and error. And we're just gonna have it. You don't have the run and gun mod? No, 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 no. That's way, that completely changes everything. That changes gameplay completely. Running, in fact, running gun is probably the most, one of the most gameplay changing mods you can have. Um. You love that mod? It's cool, but it completely changes how you do everything. Um, it, it is a cool mod, and I think it's it's a it's a nice in a lot of ways. But oh boy, it changes that changes the core of everything. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do that does it well yeah just because if people can shoot whenever they want like if you can have people shooting whenever yeah like if they can run and fight your people all at the same time it changes combat entirely um like the whole combat mechanics are would you know flipped on its head Okay, so I need now. That's why I like it too. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Uh. The penalty to accuracy is pretty good offset, but I don't enjoy it either. Oh, you don't you don't enjoy it, Darl. You don't like uh, running gun. 
It's been a long time since I used running gun. I mean, it's probably been... I don't even think I ever used running gun as a mod when I started streaming the game. Like, I think it was... I think I only used it pre-streaming. Yeah. Hi, Nomi. I'm doing well. How are you? Doesn't really fit my play style. Yeah, kind of same. I, I just... I'm too used to it not... Uh, oh, let's um, trigger that on. Cremate? Yeah, let's get rid of that body. Okay. Okay, we got sterile materials, which is good. Now we can make our uh, hospital room, which will help, especially considering we have no one who's really good at medical. Let's start researching hydroponics. Got iced in last night, so no working today. Ooh, where are you getting Nomi? Gonna go hydro? I think so. I don't know. Probably. I'm not very committal on a lot of this. Um. One, two. Well, here, let's just let's just wait on those. <clears throat> Northern Tennessee. Dang. That's uh, that's that's pretty far down the, the pretty far down there to get such an ice storm. Got to keep the options open. Yeah, I mean, I think for n I don't think we're gonna do hydroponics right away, uh, but I do think we'll probably do them a little bit later. Hey, thank you so much for the follows. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Sounds good, Darl. Sounds good, buddy. <clears throat> Texas. Yeah, there's a winter storm in Texas this morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, isn't that nuts? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Rue and Natalie are in bed. Doing all this. Compacted Plasteel, heck yeah. Yes, please. Very nice. <clears throat> Very nice. Good, good, good. Okay. Hold those open. Hi, Stitch and Vixen. It's good to see you. Our school is from a project to call out school today and tomorrow. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's totally real. It's totally real. Uh, Tova would like to play the community theme song. Oh, hi, Trisha. Good to see you. Good afternoon, Sirska. How are you? And Jim, do you not know the words to your own community theme song? Oh, I, I know the words spoken. Oh, I know the words. Um, That's not ear splittingly loud anymore. How disappointing. Right. Right. No, I know all the words. Listen, I l probably listened to that song. When, I, when he made that song for me, I probably listened to it a hundred times. Um before I even like shared it with anybody. Uh, mm, the paper with it ran on the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, pick up my frozen mobile and picks and travel. Okay, great. Nomi, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Frozen. Crazy town. Crazy town. Crazytown.org. Remember Crazy Town, the band? That was a time. Electricity. She's electric. Uh, door. Okay. Yeah, we we have to get a freezer. We gotta get a we gotta get a freezer up properly. They do that butterfly song. Yes. Yes, they did, Meg. Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. What are the plans for the big square in the middle of the base? Uh, so the big square is going to hold our power. Uh, power. Potentially either hydroponics or just like a grow zone. I, I don't know yet. Uh, we probably don't need to do hydroponics since we are in 
a tropical rainforest. Um, I'm just thinking about, will I be able to feed enough people with this on the ground versus in a hydroponics basin because the hydroponics basin grows faster. Um, so like, so, so power will go in here, maybe like a workbench or two, but this will kind of house that kind of stuff. And then eventually when it's time to build the ship, we will start building the ship parts. And this is where the ship will go too. Because we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to destroy some things to make room for the ship. Like you just, you can't have everything and have the ship. So I don't know. This is a, it's a. I don't know if this design is gonna work. I don't know if it's gonna be able to hold everything that we want. But we're gonna find out. Yeah, you, you're gonna, you have to, you have to change or move something. Like I'm hoping eventually we can kind of like research our way through everything, and then get rid of the research bench altogether at some point is build the ship inside the space as well yes sierska yep yep <clears throat> okay is this all built uh okay so then so then We're gonna deconstruct those. Um, I suppose, yeah, you know, let's just, um, let's deconstruct that as well. Because this has to be a wall. We'll hold that door open. I mean, in reality, this killbox doesn't take up that much space. Like the way I used to do it, you know, years ago when we when we attempted this. I basically just had like a one way hallway, but it expanded probably like this long. And then I also had like a shooting area and that was just all filled with traps and that didn't work that well anyway. So it is, it is a challenge. It is for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Usually you can get rid of the lower level research bench unless you have like two people that are researching at the same time. Then I keep the lower the lower level one because but at some point uh once you get past anything that's in microelectronics um once you get past any of this stuff they can't actually use the lower research bench but you can have them do this stuff so really what we should probably be doing is researching uh microelectronics so we can build the bigger research bench i just don't know where it's gonna go yet free cat meat Uh, Rue is starving. Why are you starving? Oh, you got food poisoning. Yeah. Jealous of near dwells bedroom. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Thank goodness you're a sanguine. That's going to be a problem. We may want to like... <sighs> Man, we may want to like... Put you in a... Single room... Well, like, okay, Rue, why don't you reassign that? And then for now, we'll just, uh, we'll each give them a single room only. Actually, Rue, this should be your bed. This is going to be the better room. Natalie, and then near to well. Because this is the this is the best bedroom. <clears throat> Put them outside with a roof over the bed, then it'll be an impressive bedroom because the room is huge. Mm, yeah, maybe. 
I, I might end up just giving them their own room. It depends. They're sanguine, so I, I'm hoping it's not a problem. Like, once we start having, like, once we start getting improving moods with, like, you know, better flooring and uh, more recreation and um, statues and stuff, I'm hoping that will kind of counter. And, like, fine meals and stuff. Like, I'm hoping that will counter. Is Sanguine the one that wants blood? No, no, no. Sanguine is a... Um, a Sanguine is like a, a person who's just very content and happy all the time. Uh, and... Yeah, Sanguine is a plus 12 permanent mood effect. It's 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 like an, it's an S tier. It's a top tier trait. In RimWorld. Sanguifage, yes. Yep. Why do you have them sharing now anyway? Um, because I was like, well, I may as well get used to balancing their moods at, with sharing rooms now, so I don't have to do it later. Because eventually they're all gonna share rooms. So I may as well just get used to balancing that mood now, right? That was kind of my thinking. Okay, so near to well, you trade with these people? I am an S tier trade, yes. Uh, no, the one that wants blood is Bloodlust smoking. Bloodlust. Jim finally found Natalie's and friends. I did, Rupture King. I did. Okay, we're going to sell off some of this stuff. Sell off these things we don't need. I guess we'll just kind of take some of their silver. Yeah, they don't really have anything I want. So I'll just take your silver. Hmm. Saving Tetsuya. He's a 21-year-old starship janitor. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure we're ready for an, a, tra a, a traversing of the planet just yet. Not sure we're at that point. Okay, so then we need, we got, uh, we gotta get the doors in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Barricade. Then we need wall. Wall. Then we need door, door, door. Barricade, barricade. Chair, chair. There we go. And then that door's held open. That door will be held open. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Ooh, more of this. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, we'll need all those components, baby. That'll be good. We're getting a lot of spaceship chunk drops. That will be helpful. <clears throat> we gotta we gotta get a freezer i know freezers freezers on the top of the list next i'm kind of making my way around like well maybe we make the hospital i don't know we can grow all year round so i'm not really worried about it but we do need more blocks made Bruce going for a walk they left me a mega sloth wool toque and a cloth toque Okay. Are those walls in your storage space or smooth walls? These are walls. You know what I could do? Which is technically legal. Is I could mine this out. Build the cooler here and then vent that. 
Because I'm not building anything here. I'm just unroofing an area. Then we can have the cooler protected. Or two coolers, or however many we need. Uh, no, they're, they're, we don't have deep caves. Thankfully, we do not have deep mountains. <clears throat> Since you have free cave walls. Wasting the walls? I'd say that's an acceptable interpretation. I would say it is too. The the issue becomes normally what I would do in that situation though is to avoid drop pods, is I would put like a barricade down. So I suppose technically you could get a drop pod land in that open space. Jim, if you have to scream that it's legal, then are we sh truly sure it's legal? <laughs> I think it is. No barricades today. Nope. No, but I do like that we can use this as a door. I mean, hopefully this works. I, I don't see why it wouldn't. You could use where the walls are as empty space there. I think I need a I think I need a different sentence. Uh okay, we have a person near to well. Could you trade with Locust? Um. So you have wall, built walls as part of your 30 by 30. Correct. But you don't need walls. It could be storage. Oh, I see what you're saying. So if I got rid of these walls... Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I can't build outside of that. But I could use that part as storage. Yes, you are correct. That is true. And stick shelves in their place. Ooh! Now we're thinking. Now we're thinking. Okay, well, I don't know if that's how big it's going to be, but that's that's a good... Let's keep a pin in that. Let's put a pin in that in our brains. That's a good shout. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a benefit for sure of building inside of a, a mountain that I did not think about. If you can avoid deep mountain. You don't need to have walls. It does not need. There's no rules. There's no rule of the 30 by 30 that you even have to have walls. You just, you know, would die without them, probably. I'm feeling building up against the hills, a 30 by 30 light challenge. Okay, Darl. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. What this? Cargo pods. Rumbo meat. Huh? All right. Don't be mean to Darl Jim. Smoothing the squares accounts for beauty, so I wouldn't think you can you can't smooth surfaces outside the thirty by thirty area. That's a that's an interesting one. I don't know what we think about that. Yeah, I think you can't because smoothing. You're right. It's a construction job, so your 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 pawn is doing a job. They're essentially yeah. They're essentially building outside of the three by thirty. So you are correct. Yeah, we couldn't smooth that wall, which that does kind of suck. Um, that will take down beauty, but it, at that point it doesn't really matter because this is going to be probably just frozen storage anyway. Yeah. If you can smooth, you can get an extra square in some of your bedrooms. No, I don't think you can because, as Daryl said, it's a, it's a construction job. Um. you you're, you're, it's a construction job, so that means that your pawn is building. So I, I, I do think you, that is not acceptable. All right, let's go for let's just go for microelectronics basics, uh, because then we can have some of the yeah. Let's just do that. So if you go if you go down here uh, and look at this room, see the smooth walls. 
they are adding a plus one, whereas regular walls do not. So it'll be 28 by 28 mined out. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So there is beauty. Plus, I believe that smooth flooring is a plus two to beauty instead of just laying down floor. So, yeah, I mean, you can, it would be a very, very beautiful base, but yeah, you'd have to deal with bugs, and then you'd also have to figure out how to grow food. Um, yeah. Um, yes. How are you today, B? It's good to see ye. Okay. Uh, use bugs for food. You're, yeah, you could do that too. No me's excited. I actually, it's been such a long time since I built a mountain base. I think you can still have drop pod raids inside a mountain base. Can't you? I'm existing, which I've heard is a great step in the right direction. It is indeed. It is indeed. It is indeed. Do you have a wonderful rest of your birthday, B? I think I may have asked you this yesterday, but I can't remember. Thank you, Joanna. Mm hmm Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm, okay. This is almost done. Almost. Good. Good. I'm glad. I am very glad. Very, very glad to hear it. Oh, dokies. <clears throat> mm. I thought the reason bugs were added because mountain bases were immune to drop pod raids. That could be, I honestly don't remember. <laughs> Rain, I, I honestly don't remember at all. Um, I really don't. Oh, these need to be held open. That needs to be held open. Wait, why is that looking like that? Oh, because the, the next one's not built. Yeah. There we go. Actually, near. Uh, come here. Donkey. Four doors left. No growable food early on would probably kill any run. Well, unless, if you could hunt, if you could hunt, you'd be okay. Yeah, you can hunt though. Right. Um, do we have enough silver? We have two. Wait. 287 silver. Is this too big of a hospital? See, I don't know. Probably is. Yeah, I, I just, I can't remember LMS. I, I honestly cannot remember. I feel like I've gotten drop pod raids in Deep Mountain but I don't remember when that was or like, I just, you know, I'm just trying to recall something, but it feels like it was a long, long time ago. And again, I haven't done a mountain base in decades. There we go, Nat. Nat's doing it. Natalie.com. Yeah. Uh, you're idle. 
Oh, I guess if Rue is crafting, you can't. Makes sense, actually. A flat screen TV? That's kind of far. Uh, Nick and Brutality rule that out, though. <clears throat> BRB phone. Sounds good, MJ. Sounds good. <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah, we're getting stuff just rotting away. Um, I just don't know how big this is going to be yet. We, we do need to get the freezer. So maybe we work in this direction. Um, but I do think the freezer storage should be probably under the mountain here. Here's cutting blocks. Yeah, we, get, we have a lot of ship chunks on the map, which is great. Ooh, don't love that. Starting to get psychic drones now. Missing seven granite blocks. Always be learning stuff. It's true, though. So very true. Comfy sniper chairs. Yes, yes. Okay. So this needs to be held open as well. Nope, nope, nope. Held open, held open, held open, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Killbox is ready. Killbox is ready. Why are you afraid of bugs, Jim? Did you have a particularly traumatic experience? <laughs> yes. Yes, I have had a very traumatic experience uh, with bugs. I did a YouTube playthrough years ago. I believe it was called The Bionic Man. <clears throat> and uh, the Bionic Man and his compadres. So basically, I, I, I Bionicified an entire a dude as like a single start. And then um, what happened was I let the bugs get out of control. Um, and they spawn. It, it ended up spawning. I just, it got out of, it's got so out of hand that there was nothing I could do about it. And I had to abandon the tile. <clears throat> Um, I believe ultimately the run died, but, uh, there was a point and it's very visceral. It's, it is burned into my brain of this, like, there was, there was probably this much space on the map of like bug nests inside of a mountain. It was awful. And then our base was like right next to it. But then they, they had to get out. They had to go this way. But they were, like, slowly picking their way closer to our base. And at one point, I angered one of them. And all of them, just the sound of all of them just aggroing. 
and they just picked away at my base. I literally had to destroy a wall to run away. It was intense. It was so many bugs. It was a lot. And, um, yeah, that pretty much scarred me. Yeah, that pretty much scarred me. And so, uh, after that, <clears throat> was it? Haverick, welcome in. Uh, I know you can't build outside the 30. Nope, no sleeping spots. Nothing like that. Yep. Nothing, no sleeping spots, no stockpiles, nothing that would, nothing that would make home area. Basically, any colony structure is out. <clears throat> With a few melee and choke point, bugs are easy. Yeah, if you maintain killing off, if you maintain killing off the uh, the nests, then yes. But you can't let it can't let it get out of hand. They failed my heed my advice about bugs. I'm blanking on the name. Oh, I wonder who that could be. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta you gotta deal with them right away. It just they just becomes annoying to deal with them early on, and they also can really inflict a lot of damage. Uh like they can easily take off limbs, fingers, toes, stuff like that. So it's just, you know, if I can just avoid dealing with them, then let's just avoid dealing with them. So welcome back, MJ. Hi, Oxysaurus. Good to see you. My problem is I have to trust you whether I'm prepared or not. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's kind of true, right? Uh, we have tribes people attacking. It's still just one guy, Narwhal. Hey, Narwhal. What's going on with you? What, what faction is this? Oh, they're like non-hostile. Or they are hostile. Too smart. Hello? <clears throat> Uh, okay. I mean, I don't really need a lot of meleeers, but it doesn't hurt. So just move the home area outside the 30 by 30. You must have done that already. Um, well, so, so home, the home area itself, everything, everything is going to create a home area regardless. The home area doesn't matter. I guess what I mean by that is like, if I place down, you know, so, okay. So if I turn on uh, the, where's, where's like home area? Okay, so home area is technically expanded because when you build a wall, it expands the home area out like four tiles or whatever. The, the I guess what I say expands the home area. You can't place anything down outside your 30 by 30 space that will create home area is is a way to say it is what i mean um that that's kind of what i'm saying you can turn that off though sure okay <sighs> okay anything that you can build in this menu you cannot build outside the 30 by 30. Anything you anything you place cannot be made outside the 30 by 30. Yeah. Um <clears throat> Yeah. Can you give us an example of what you're talking about? Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm not I'm not building anything outside. We'll make them restart again. Can't build or place anything that ordinarily spawn a home area. Yeah. Right. My, should I place a trap for this raid? No, we're going to have to go out there. We're going to go out there and punch him and hope he doesn't, sh uh, hope she doesn't die. <clears throat> because that's a pawn I want to steal. The too smart plus all of the passions, um, especially crafting and research. Yes, please. Uh, do you have any health concerns? You have a stab scar on your right leg. Okay. Use your empty bedroom for prison? 
Okay. All right, everybody up. Everybody up. Uh, let's go punch this thing in the face. Okay. Welcome back, Megan. And uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Near melee attack. Uh, but don't don't hit him too much. Don't. Just don't. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have you back off. Punch with the bow. Yes! Let's go, baby. Nice job, Nier. Here we go. There we go. Things are looking up. Mm-hmm. Near to well, how'd you do? You took a couple bruises, you're fine. Fine. Uh I'm just gonna make this a medical room for now. Okay. Narwhal. 13. Not bad. Resistance is good. Not bad at all. Consume a meal? Sure. Can someone go tend to our friend? Ooh, you destroyed their left second toe. That's okay. <clears throat> hey, Testy Monkey, welcome in. Check, can you make thicker walls, grow plants outside of walls? I just started watching. Yeah, nope. Nope. Can't can't grow anything. Can't grow anything, can't build anything. Nothing. I can only... I, so, I don't have to have a wall, but you can't build anything. Yep. But welcome in. <clears throat> Nothing outside. So, this is, this is the... This is 30 by 30 here including our outer wall of course so we can't build anything outside yep the attacker is a bug in disguise <laughs> imagine imagine all right we're gonna recruit this person for sure um do we do we oh I don't, um, Natalie's a one in doctoring, but she doesn't really seem to be doing it. And I'm confused why. Like, I know you suck at this, but, oh, you're a three now. Hi, Mauler. Good morning. What about traps? Okay, Mauler's just trolling. No, obviously you can't do, <laughs> oh, Mauler, I tell you. You weren't such a nugget. <clears throat> oh, not very long. Not very long. I'm hearing, I'm hearing Mauler like shout that from the back. What about traps? <sighs> no, I'm not showing you examples. You can't bait this. You can't bait me into this. I love you too, buddy. All right. Um, do, 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 do near. Can you go and trade with Regina? There's another slaver. Mm, I don't think we have enough. Uh... Let's see if any of these uh, 1,500, 1,600, 2,200 snowy. Snowy has artery blockage in her heart. Beautiful. Cantum labor. Okay, not actually that great of a pawn. Um, it's a trap sub. It's a trap. A trap sub. A trap, trap, trap sub. Baller, thank you so much for the 29 month resub, my friend. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Mauler. Welcome back, my friend. Dylan. Slow learner body purist. Yuck. Gourmand. Very neurotic. Body modder. Fast walker. Psychopath. Wow. Wow. 
can't skilled labor, but melee? Oh, man. Woo! Talk about traits, though. A passion in medical, yeah. Pa it's low, but it's a passion. Do you need batteries for the ship? Uh, no. Who needs skilled labor? True. True. It's true. Ooh, those traits are hard to pass up. How much does this uh, pawn cost? 1600 I don't know. If they were a good shooter, I think I would more seriously consider it. But... I'm gonna buy their meds. Psychopath Doctor. Yeah. I mean, they don't care about seeing blood, which is good. I just don't have that kind of cash right now. I, mean, I guess I could go... I don't know. Need melee with that kill box? Uh, I mean, I'll need melee for some... I'll need a meleeist for sure. Or maybe a couple. Oh, man. The unskilled labor, though. I guess they could haul clean doctor. They can also do social stuff. One more question. Can't build the ship unless it's inside 30 by 30. So what's the end game? Royalty? Nope. I'm going to build the ship. So this middle spot here, this middle zone is potentially going to be growing zone and or hydroponics plus our power storage, like where power is going to go. Uh, and then when we get to the end game, uh, we will rip all that out and then build the ship in this space. Hi, Ed. Gutsy. Yeah, no, it's 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 a... I tried this challenge a few years ago, but I was playing it on much higher difficulties, and it just... I had a crappy, crappy kill box set up, and it wasn't working. So we're going to try it on Tribe to Survive. So we're just... we're Everything is trial and error. There's going to be stuff that moves around. You know, we're going to build something, and we're going to go, that doesn't make a lot of sense with the space that we need, so we'll probably end up changing it. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> if they were later on pawn it would be easier to take yeah no i agree yeah yeah uh yeah it's good to see you buddy how are you jay's writing legalies yes intellectual 14 for natalie Okay, now that this is built though, we should we should probably turn our focus to cold storage and cooking. Um <clears throat> the question is I'm gonna move this uh down a bit. I'm gonna move that down for now. And then the battery is going to also move. I guess, I don't know how much space we want to, we probably want to give up a decent amount of space for food just so we have it stored. Um, we're also going to deconstruct this wall. And this. I'll leave this just in case they pick. Shelves help. Yeah, we're going to put shelves. So, so, uh, Mizzle made a good point that we don't actually need this wall to take up that 30th spot. We can fill this with shelves because people aren't going to get it through here. Hopefully. Um, big chillin'. Nice. Yed, uh, Yed, I have rediscovered, uh, an intense, my intense love for Legos. And now I want to just build Legos again. Um, I'm going to smooth this surface. I'm, gonna sm I'm not... So I can smooth the floor. I cannot smooth this wall. 
because remember this is here maybe i should just i'm gonna i'm gonna do this 30 30 30 30. so i can smooth the flooring underneath that 30 but i can't smooth this wall because that's outside of it and that's a construction job so what i'm doing is i took the wall away here because we're not going to necessarily get attacked and i can use this for storage Does that make sense floors are okay but the walls are no-no yeah <clears throat> lego build stream yeah we're gonna do uh well we're gonna do a lego stream um at some point uh and if we get and if we uh if we get the throne castle we'll build that on stream as well in a, in a different stream i just want to build castles you know be interesting if it got a separate though and the space had a gap open up what do you mean um dorian i think i'd like to get into some free building like i i did i like i want to do kits but then i would like to maybe like combine kits together into some free build and then also do some creative stuff on my own um but i feel like i want to have i need to have some more of that that castle stuff to do that but yeah that i i would like to get into some free builds uh or or at least you know look into like other uh other like instruction builds that are not necessarily um you know lego specific hey thank you so much for the follow i appreciate it welcome thanks for being here psychic like soothe for females nice and a mad boomalope uh okay oh uh Dead crafts. Well, new account for the moment. It is. Oh no! Wait. Not again. No, no. This will be different. This will be better. Wait, dead crafts. What was your old account? If you're into three D printing, you can print out pieces that fit onto Legos. Yeah, Tessie. That's a whole. That's a whole other level. I don't have a three D printer. Um, that kind of stuff feels way over my head. Uh, I would. I would probably rather just like source stuff their source pieces myself, you know, from wares or whatever. Um, I have a day. I have one day to solve my account issues. M dread. Wait, what? Oh no. Wait, what happened to your account dread? What the heck happened to your account? That boom, that boom up's coming right in here, yeah? We should be able to shoot it and destroy it. Oh, that door's... Wait, what? Are you attacking a barricade right now? I'm confused. Why can't we hit that? Why is it attacking this barricade instead of coming in? Why? Why? All these doors are opened. Right? Some animals can't walk over barricades?
Really? Boomalopes can't walk over barricades? Your F2FA screwed up. Oh no! Uh, Mizzle, thank you for giving Deadcrafts a sub. Dreadcrafts. I said Deadcrafts. Dreadcrafts. Dread, I hope that gets sorted very soon. What the heck? How do I, how have I never experienced that before? Is it only the small animals that can jump over them? I'm so confused. Also, this creeps creeps me out. I hate that their little boom sacks are like destroyed and you can like see inside their body. Ugh, that's gross. I don't like that at all. Um I don't know. Carex, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Um I had it with thrombos when I used that kill box? No way. Barricades will block certain kind of animals the same way fences do. Bizarre. How bizarre. I just I never knew it. Didn't know it. Must be since the animal patch. It has to be. I just I definitely see that. Yeah, wow, crazy. Dang, that is not what I was expecting to learn today. Rip Jim. <laughs> so barricades work as fences. I guess so. Uh, depending on the animal. Huh. All right. We can turn that off. Okay, so this is all smooth. Um, let's move this battery in here for a second. And I'm going to reinstall this bench as well. And the light. I'm going to get rid of that crafting spot. And we're going to tear down. So... Let's do a little reorg here uh no don't destroy that but we can move it oh yeah i suppose we can move the battery down here uh for now um but i do need condi I don't really feel comfortable having conduit on the outside wall, so I think we're going to have to have a redundant line that goes like that. Well, that really sucks, Dread. I hope that gets fixed soon. Do we have enough steel for this? Visitors. I think we're going to need more steel. Um... Let's get a little mining job out here. Bum, bum. Ba -da. Hey, Yed. Yed, thank you for, uh, thank you for contributing to the, uh, the, the, the set on Throne. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Thank you, Edster. You little cutie. <clears throat> Very much appreciate that. Thank you, Ben. Mm -hmm. Uh, they'd have nothing to trade, yeah. Oh. No. Okay. Yeah. Rue, are you good at this? I, kind of. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you're having a wonderful... Oh, what is this? 
A war mask? Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. So, um, we're gonna do... We do have a bunch of slate blocks. So maybe we do slate shelving? Well, is this how big we're gonna do this? We need to, we need to be, hold on. I gotta think this through. So if I put a shelf in the corner, I think they can still access it. So if I go, um, one, two, three, four, five. I wonder if I should make this room too bigger. Have the wall coming across here. That would shrink, I guess, whatever this room becomes. That would be food storage. Or or we keep it that small. Make this the kitchen. That's so hard when you're like having to think through this. So I could put a slate shelf there. Do something like that. It's a lot of storage. It is a lot of storage. We're going to need a lot of it. I mean, I because the thing is, is if if we're going to do like some hydroponics, I only want a few of them. Keep it, keep it fairly minimal, but then like save up, you know, save up the food, store the food. We can also store like medicine in here and anything else that needs to be cold. We can store smoke leaf joints in here, but then we'd have more storage. I don't know. They can walk over shelves, just not quickly. Right. I guess I don't need a path through there then. Hey, flipping sunshine. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Hello. Hello, hello. And Selva's here. Good to see you. Yeah, for sure, Tessie Monkey. Yeah. So this is um this is the singularity kill box or the the Chinese free shooter as sometimes people call it. Um No one really knows how it works, <clears throat> but it works. Um so you can find this. I just I got this from uh from Adam versus everything. He did not invent it, but he did do a great uh breakdown of it. But no one really understands how it works, but he did a great breakdown of how to how to build it and all that kind of stuff. Um so you can check that out there. Do 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 and that's where we're using it from. Yeah, I mean I guess. Okay, so the other thing we could do is have we could put a door here. Like a steel door. Okay. Put a wall. Like here. Kitchen. Kitchen and then dining area could be here, which would be right next to, which would be good as an access point uh, next to the infirmary and the kill box. Okay, okay. And then this becomes workstation area-ish. We could also, and then we could also do more storage on this side. So we could do a wall here. Yeah. No peeky peeky. Hi. Good to see you. Aesthetics. Yeah, right. Totally. Totally. We're actually going to get, I think we're going to get decent bedrooms in here, which will be nice. But then on this side is more storage. One, two, three, four. Oh, because the wall, right. Okay. This is going to be wall. So let's deconstruct that, deconstruct that, deconstruct that. 
And this could be another storage here. <clears throat> or are you putting the cooler in? Oh, yeah, we need the stupid cooler. Uh, right. Right, 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 right. Right! Oh. One, will one be enough? I think one would be enough. I think. I don't know. Okay, we may have to build a copy of this to... Oh, when you start doing bio... I want to start doing biofuel at some point. We have room for biofuel. I don't know. Okay. What if I put this here? Because this is where the this is where that generator is gonna go. So let's let's build that. We need more steel to do that, but we have Rue is still working on that down there. <clears throat> hey Irish! What's up, bud? Gotta keep those streamers on their feet. Yeah. 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 Could do one on the other side. Yeah. I could. We'll just, we'll just take a look. We'll take a we'll take a we'll take a peek. We'll take we'll just a little trial and error. A little trial and error. Oh nice! I'm studying for your IT cert? Very good. That's not what you meant about keeping the streamer on their feet? Oh okay. Classic. Classic rain. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm also going to want to... Uh, we move uh, this light in there. We also may need um, well, the floor in there might also need to be uh, zip zip. Um, let's smooth that as well. Uh, okay, so we need uh, steel. <clears throat> No, it's a mess over here. The mess. It's absolutely a mess, baby. I need to rename one of your colonists to Chat GPT. Nice. Need components for the generator. I don't have components. You are correct. Right, because we only have one. Uh, we also need steel too. So let's do. That's deep mountain there. Let's, uh, ooh, we should get these out of here because this is a very dangerous part of the map. Let's get, let's get those clowns out of there. So we don't have to go back over there ever again. <clears throat> we mine out these. We're gonna want to mine that steel out at some point. I want to, I want to mine, I like mining from the edges of the map in. So that way, like if stuff is going down and it's bad, we don't have to go super far for steel rather than later in the game where things are more dangerous we have to go further <clears throat> how does one get more components uh <clears throat> uh bopper so the the compacted machinery bits these are components these are essentially unmined components MJ, MJKHAXP gifted a tier one sub to Irish Traveler 80. MJ, they have given so 19 much. gift subs in the channel. Irish, welcome back. 26 big ones. Welcome back. Thank you, MJ. I appreciate you. 
Let's just say I've mined all those. Is there a way to make them? There is a way to make them. Yes. There is a bench. Bopskies. There is a bench called Fabrication Bench. Way down here on the research table. Uh, the Fabrication Bench allows you to make components out of steel, gold, and something else. Steel, gold... I don't even remember. Uh, but you also need components to make the fabrication bench. I believe it's 12 components to make the cab uh, the uh, fabrication bench. So yeah, you might have to buy them. That's why there's a... <clears throat> it is a conundrum, Bop. Yeah. Well, normal components are just steel. Oh, that's advanced components. Right, thank you. That's plasteel and gold. Normal components are just steel. Thank you. Um... Yeah, so Bop, there's a there's a saying, uh, ABC in RimWorld, always buy components. Um because they're kind of important. So yes, you're gonna have to caravan to find some more. You're gonna have to either you could settle a colony, you could settle another colony settlement in like a, a different tile near your base and then just mine out the components there and then just like abandon that colony you could do that too yeah <clears throat> what if i can't afford them do i kill the trader you certainly can uh that has repercussions of its own <clears throat> but yes the animals though yeah because the animals will run as soon as you attack as soon as you attack a trader, the animals book it. That's because this isn't roofed. Uh, the animals book it. You want to be killing the animals, like Darl said. Uh, can we... Um... Hey, Nat. Hey, Nat. We... Why can't we? Okay. You can kill the trader animals. You can try. You're going to want to get in a position and shoot them fast, though, because they are going to run very quickly to the edge of the map and try to escape. Yeah. Okay. Can we just. Hey, Nat. Thank you. Okay. Oh, this room is done? Question mark? Okay. Uh, we just don't have enough slate for that shelf. We need to do more slate, which we're going to work on now. Okay. So this is going to be food storage. This is going to be a cooler. Kino Man. Kino! Kino Man. Hi, buddy. I checked to see who's carrying the components first. Yeah, for sure. Kino Man. Hi, Kino. It's good to see you, buddy. How are you doing? You doing all right? Gonna destroy that. Okay. Then we're gonna go like this. I'm not sure, Haverick. That's a good question. I don't actually know. 
Uh, being a bit better at least. Good to hear, buddy. Sending lots of hugs. Lots and lots of hugs. I know this is kind of a waste, but it's okay. It's okay. So that will be where that vents. Uh, doing well, Kino. Doing well. Just, uh... You know, just vibing. I, I haven't attacked a friendly caravan in a long time. Okay. Set this. Um... Yeah, did I think? Yeah, did I thank you? I thanked Yed, right? Yeah, thank you so much for contributing on Throne. I appreciate it. I can't remember if I did, so I'm just double checking. Um, I think I did though. I did. Okay, thank you. Sometimes you know my brain can't remember everything. I can't remember everything. Um, I did. okay. I don't know, how was Ash? Uh. Good. Good. Um, minus one doesn't seem like a particularly low target to aim for. Oh, you think I should go lower? I can go lower. Okay. Uh, so then what we're going to do is... We're gonna go like this. Being struck. Hashtag gym words? Yes. I usually just set it to freezing. It is Kino. It's very expensive. It is an inexpensive set. I've been I've been reading like reviews on it. But it's like, it, it's, yeah, they're, they're definitely getting you for the, some of the nostalgia, but it's a huge set. has a lot of pieces, a lot of minifigures. And apparently, if you are, if you were like a big fan of, I don't know, I was watching a lot of unbiased reviews. And a lot of people were like, if you were a fan of the medieval sets, this is like, it's totally worth it. I was like, ah. Yeah. I know. Yeah, everything went up. Everything's expensive. It's crazy. But it's a pretty big set. It's a pretty massive set. It's got like 4,000 pieces or something in it. Um, okay, we got hydroponics. Did I do research on... Okay. You personally go with minus nine? Really? Yeah, I suppose... I suppose... Yeah, so Kino, um, we have uh, we have a Lego building stream with a the Fiat 500 that my sister in law got me that we're gonna do at some point in March. But if we do, if we get this, we're also doing a stream of it. Well, actually, we'll probably end up doing two streams of it because I think what people have said it is it takes between six to eight hours of build time, um, which is a lot of time. But so that might be end up being two streams. Yeah, and I, I just, it's one of those things where, like, it's a massive set. I have other, I have other, like, Lego sets that we're going to do that I'm going to bring back. I have, I have old Legos we're going to bring back, and I just, I want to, like, reorganize them. It's, it's, yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a, re, I've just found a rejuvenation for it as an adult. Um, and I, you know, and I want it for, like, my kid or kids or whatever. However, you know, I don't know how many kids we're going to have, but, um, to play with. I don't know. I was in the store the other day and there was this dad. I was in the Lego aisle. I was just looking at him. And um, there was this dad walked in the aisle with his son. It was like perfect timing. And the dad was like, oh, there's this. They were looking at like the Lego village sets. <laughs> and this dad was like, oh, you know, here's the set we like to build. And the kid was kind of excited, but the dad was like more excited than the kid. And um, I just thought that was really funny. I was like, that's totally going to be me in the store. Um, 
being, being more excited about it than my kid. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> you set your freezer? Yeah, I also set my freezer to zero, but I guess if we're going to have that airlock that's going to be open, uh, that is going to probably cause some problems. We may need to reshift how that cooler works, to be honest. It, it's kind of a space waster, too. I mean, I suppose I could vent into here because this is going to be regular storage. We could vent into here because this... These are all on shelves, right? I could do that instead. Yeah, Selva, I think I want to, I think I would like to get into some custom build stuff. I think that would be pretty cool. Like, it would, it would almost be cool to, like, do a Lego stream where we just, I don't know, take pieces and try to build something. I don't know. I don't know. I, it's just, it's such a great tool. Hmm. Yeah, maybe... Hi, Lana. Hello. Yeah, maybe this goes here. And then I could do this. Um, Leave this unroofed. And then, you know, not do this nonsense. And then still be able to build shelves in here. Okay, so we didn't get super far today, but we're going to put a pin in this uh, for now. We'll probably pick this back up tomorrow. Um, we're going to do, we're going to move on to some Dinkum with Chubex, but I think we're starting to get this. I think we're starting to get this figured out. We're going to adjust all that kind of stuff. And we got the kill box in, which is really, really good. So I think we're going to put an end to this right here and uh move on <laughs>